Welcome all of you crusty little scallywags. This is Grizzly Green Gaming here and I am bringing you a long sought after tutorial. A lot of people have been commenting on my YouTube page about advanced levels of fishing, bass fishing, how to catch larger fish, this and that, everything else. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial now on how to catch really how to catch bass at a level 3 and this really is going to apply to a number of other fish as you advance but uh, or we won't go into detail on all the other fish because you can apply some of these lessons to some of the more advanced lures that you'll get and um, and take that to some of the uh, the more advanced fishing spots that you'll go to but right now we're gonna talk about when you advance to level 3 and you get that new rod that new lure and you want to go out and catch some of the bass that you see a lot of the people in the chat catching so first things first, you need to make sure that you have the licenses to catch the bass. This one right here is the bass. Make sure that your license is green. If it is not green, there really shouldn't be any reason why it is not. You go to the store and you buy your license and you buy a, just for the shits and giggles of it, buy the advanced Missouri license, which is down, down here. For one day, real life 24 hours, at a level three you can purchase it, $15, cheap 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 buy it just because because if you happen to catch a pickerel you'll be able to ki keep it but if you've got your basic license you have to toss back your pickerel or something like that read the description i'm not going to read it now i've read it a thousand times don't remember what it said that's your job i'm not doing everything for you all right so i'm going to be using level three equipment this is the equipment that you'll be buying at a level three once you get promoted to level three or once you level up or whatever the hell you want to call it We've got the Value Spin 6.3 at a level 3. That's the one that you'll probably go out and buy. If you're using a float rod still, I've said this in my other tutorials, you're not going to be able to use lures. You can only use the bob and the bait. You can catch bass and things with bobs and baits, but go out and get the lure and start doing some lure fishing. Save the bob and the lure for when you go back to uh, you know North Carolina or something like that and you're catching things like um, sunfish and stuff like that. You can go back to using the uh, the bob and bait. But for Missouri, if you want to catch bass, just go out and get your feet wet with the new rod. So you're going to be going out and buying the uh, Value Spin 6.3, which is this one right here. Value Spin 6.3, $25, not that much money. That's like a couple of fish once you catch the, the big ones. Your first two fish, you'll make the money back. The reel that we're going to be using is going to be the Mini Spin 1200. As you can see here, a level three. You can go out and buy that for $55. The next line that you'll be buying is the Mono 0 .007 or 0.18 millimeters, level 3 here. You can buy that for $6. Lines are awful cheap. You can also buy the um, the braided one here for some gold coin if you want, but it's not going to fit on your, on your reel. And this is for much heavier fish and you're going to need a much heavier reel and rod for it. So don't don't waste your money or actually rather your gold coins on that right now. And the lures we're going to be buying are the casting spoon one six of an ounce number two you can also buy a slop spoon if you want doesn't really matter to me bass jigs you can get at a level four but you're gonna have to uh, pay some gold with and um at level five you can get the actual um currency value bass jigs and don't worry about trying to get to a level five just so you can catch a bass jig in fact you can catch really any type of bass on a casting spoon my largest bass before this one, which I caught with a bass jig one third of an ounce number three, I had caught with a, with a casting spoon. And it was like a, a 4.8 pound one. So it, 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 was, it was a big, nice trophy bass. You can catch them with casting spoons. So don't worry about having to specifically use a bass jig in order to catch a bass. It's not needed. Okay, so we've got the basic setup here. That's the only rod I'm gonna be using. So let's go fishing and I'm gonna show you how to catch some bass. Okay, we're here in Missouri. Now remember, when you first come in, you have two places to choose from. Any, many, miny, mo. Your mama's a dirty, okay, Never mind. So also the thing that you wanna pay attention to is this graph here over on the left. Remember, this shows you how active the fish are and at what time of day. Does that mean that right here at around 12 noon that you're not gonna catch any fish? No, it doesn't mean that. It just means that that's when they're the least active. 
I can see a difference between this kind of a time frame here and this kind of a time frame here in game as to how many fish I catch, but it's certainly not impossible. You can choose to fish down here if you want to. I think most players, as they become a level three, they want to go up here because that's where most of the bass are. I've caught a number of bass down here, but for this tutorial, we're going to go to the second one. Here we are. Now go ahead and press M just to double check what times they're the most active. We're starting off at five o'clock, so it's really not that bad. We'll just stay here for five o'clock. It's going to, the, the clock is going to tick by pretty fast. So it's going to be like 5.30, six o'clock in no time. So there's really no reason to fast forward. Now the best places to catch bass here are right along those reeds and down this way. And that trophy that I showed you earlier, I actually caught right here. Chances are you're not gonna catch a bass over here at a level three. You're gonna need to be a higher level with much more beefed up kind of gear. So you can certainly try it here if you want but you're not really guaranteed to catch anything. As a level three, over here is the best. The bigger bass, you're gonna catch around these nine tails here, and the smaller ones as you reel in, if you happen to reel in and you get past this and you haven't caught anything, chances are as you get down through here, you're gonna be catching uh, the younger largemouth bass. Okay, so we're back into the menu here. Just to double check, we're using the casting spoon one six of an ounce, number two. That is the level three one that you can buy. And just so you guys know that I'm not cheating you, we're making sure that the lure here is in fact that lure, the rod, the reel, and the line are all the ones that we have purchased from a level three. So this is all level three equipment. So in case you guys don't know, if you press the right mouse button, the right mouse button, you can, you can bring up this little icon, which will show you where your lure is gonna land. Also, a nice little trick, guys. If you look up in the left-hand corner, it says press F1 for help. If you press F1, it's gonna bring up all your keys and look through this. If you have any question on what key does what, or how to do something, press F1, it's gonna bring it up for you. One of the next things you wanna do is with the plus and minus keys on your keyboard, if you look down on the bottom right hand side of the screen there, you've got um, your drag icon there. Full drag and then uh, no drag. I always like to keep it at a, level t at a level two. You can move it up to a level three if you want, but the, the more that you increase it, the more likelihood that your line is going to break when it catches onto something. The only time you really want to put it all the way up to full is if you've got a snag. And I'll show you that if we get snagged. But for right now, we're going to put it at a level two, and I'm going to increase the speed with the mouse wheel to a level two. Now, different lures of different weights and different sizes and different types are going to require you to reel in at a different speed. Some are going to some are going to work better at a level two, some are going to work in a, better at a level three, depending on how you're reeling it in, what kind of an action you want the lure to take through the water, and whatnot. So just because a, a, a two-speed works for one lure, uh, reeling it at a two-speed for another lure might not perform that same kind of an action. So keep an eye on what your speed is and what kind of an action your lure is taking through the water. So we're going to go right about here. We're going to click. Bah! You guys have to go bah when you launch it out there because it works better. You'll catch fish when you go bah, I promise. All right, so now you're going to see that your your lure over on the right-hand side, this little icon there, that's down at the bottom. That's okay. You can let it touch the bottom. And then as we reel in, you're going to see it take a little bit of a, of a, of a different action through the water. You want to get it up off the ground. So I'm going to increase it to a level three. And there it's going off the ground. And for this tutorial and catching bass, it seems that the best, here we go, stop and go, is the best to catch bass. Okay, so you're just going to click a little bit and try to get your timings right and try to get this stop and go action through the water. The more the dots, the more attractive it is to the fish. Okay, and we're at 51 feet, so we're probably past those nine tails now which means that it's going to increase our likelihood of catching a smaller bass and not so much the larger ones. Oh, and I caught one right at the last minute. And it's a young largemouth bass. Okay, now I didn't have really enough time to explain what had happened. 
next time I catch a fish, if we catch them a little bit further out, I'll explain it. But what had happened is he, he grabbed it and you just snagged it. And that one snag brought him all the way in. So um, I've got the proper, proper license, no restrictions. He's a 10 experience, he's 11 inches, and he's 8 pounds. So he's a decent size largemouth, a young largemouth that is. And I've caught him again with level 3 gear. So it's completely possible. Let's try it again. We're going to send it right back there. We're going to try to catch an adult one this time. Cast it out. Blah! Let it set a little bit. I'm going to reel it in. This lure is a little bit lighter, so it's going to require a little bit faster reel in speed. That's why it's at a level three. Ah, caught something. Okay. Now, okay, okay, okay. Now we're going to slow down a little bit. That clicking noise is okay. Keep an eye on your graph. Keep an eye on your graph on the right. Make sure it doesn't go into the red. We're reeling in slowly. Also, you want to keep an eye on, make sure it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom in the black, because that means that your fish has has um, pretty much gotten away, that your line is not tight enough. You see how it went down just like that? So we're reeling it in a little bit, and you got to insult it a little bit too. Get in here, you little bastard. All right, we got another young largemouth. It was about the same size as the one before. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. You're not guaranteed to catch anything on every single cast. Try to get the stop and go action. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. There we go, we got a three dot stop and go. Almost perfect. The timing, you can see it's almost perfect. So we're keeping three dots throughout. Now we're starting to get, oh, there we go, we got another one. All right. So you want to reel it in, and also you want to yank on the line a little bit. Now, see, 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 see down there, down at the uh, bottom right there, the graph got down into the red because I, I gave too much slack to the line, increasing the chances that the fish was going to get away. So you insulted again. Get over here, you little son of a bitch. Okay, young largemouth bass. It was about the same size as before. We're going to do it one more time. We're going to try over here. We're going to toss it out. There she goes. We're going to try for stop and go, but since the river is going that way, Sometimes it makes it a little bit more tricky. There we go. We've got just about a perfect stop and go. I don't think we're going to catch anything. If we do catch something, it's more than likely going to be a pickerel. Lots of pickerel down that way. Oh, we got something. What's this going to be? Okay, so you reel in slowly. Don't try to overdo your line. If you need to, press the plus key and increase your drag a little bit. Just to make sure that there's a lot of tension on that line and that there's no chance that fish is going to you know, uh, wiggle off that line. What's this going to be up? This is going to be a grass pickerel. I have to release the fish because I think I only have the basic license or something like that. So we'll release it. And we'll try one more time down there. See if we can get another pickerel. Maybe we'll get a bass down there. Who fucking knows? Remember, try to get some stop and go. Stop and go, I have found, works the best. Sometimes you can do um, some straight and slow, which is just reeling the line in slow. So it takes a nice, slow, straight action. That will catch some fish. Doesn't always catch the bass for me. It seems that, there we go. It seems that when the line comes to a stop, or when the lure rather comes to a stop, that's when the bass bite. In the game, that is. Looks like we've got another pickerel. Get in here, you slimy little cockroach. Here we go, it's gonna be a pickerel, because I can tell by how I'm reeling it in. It's a lot lighter than the other fish. Yep. So we've got another grass pickerel. Perfect. Keep in mind, as you're using a lure, if you toss out this way, you're going to increase your chances of snagging. There's like a log or something under here that I always get snagged up on. I don't know what you can catch out that way, but if you happen to catch out that way, or if you happen to reel out that way, you're probably going to get snagged on a log. So let's see if we can get a snag and see if I can show you how to free it. I'm going to let it sink to the bottom. 
reel it in. Try to keep it on the bottom just for the purposes of getting it snagged. I might not have been able to toss it out far enough. And that's okay. Doesn't look like I think I'm past the log. So let's try to uh, let's try to get a straight and slow going. I'm gonna decrease the speed just a little bit down to a two. I'm gonna reel it in. So it's reeling in a little bit slow. There we go. We got some straight and slow with three dots. That's simply holding the mouse button and reeling in slowly. You can let it sink down to the bottom. Oh, we got something! Holy cow! I've never caught anything way out in the middle here. So this is a first for both of us. It's gonna be a small mouth. Or it's gonna be a young, a young large mouth is what I meant to say. A little bit bigger than the other ones we've caught at a, at 11 experience and uh, 0.9 pounds instead of 0.8. So let's keep this guy. But there is a log out there. Now, when you get snagged on a log, you can do two things. You can increase your drag to full and simply reel in and sometimes it will snag it free for you. Or again, increase your drag to full. You can see that down on the bottom right and you can get rid of that and you just yank it yank the thing out it'll plop right out and then you can continue to reel back in but if you happen to get snagged and you can't free it if you press b a little option will pop up b for break a little option will pop up asking you if you really want to break the line you say yes and when you break it you lose whatever lure is on that line of course you can't get it back because they haven't implemented scuba gear into the game yet because it's fucking beta let's try one more I'm gonna toss it right out there. Bah! Bah! All right. Just reel it in. I need to increase the speed a little bit to get that stop and go going. Now we're getting some stop and go around the reeds. Up! Oh, ah! Ah! I think I got something. Yep, I got something. Perfect. I was gonna say that's where the bigger bass are. And we had that stop and go right there by the cat of nine tails. But I don't think that this is going to be an adult. I think this is still going to be young. Because he's not fighting too much. Although he is kind of... He's a little bit bigger. No, he's actually a lot smaller than the other ones. Okay. Alright, so as you can see, it's only... 5.53 a.m. We haven't even reached the peak at about 6 o'clock. Um, we're about there, but not at the peak. And I've been catching everything using level 3 gear. So there's really no excuse. If you're using level 3 gear that you've just bought, there's no excuse for you not to be catching bass. You simply cast out here and get a nice little stop and go action. Or cast out here and get some stop and go action. We caught pickerel out here, so if you want to catch some pickerel, go ahead and cast out here with some stop and go. But the best way to catch bass here in Missouri is right through this area, reeling in this way with stop and go action. It works every single time. So I hope that this tutorial helped you. I know it doesn't show you specific techniques, but it is showing you proof that as a level three, you can bring in some pretty decent sized, at least young, largemouth bass. You can also bring in some pickerel, which a lot of people seem to be having some issues with. Pickerel right over here. Simple. Now if there's any more tutorials you want to see, I don't know how specific I can get into catching specific types of fish that are in the game, because there's like 30 different kinds of fish. I can't do 30 tutorials for 30 different fish. But the basics that you learn here, you're going to be able to implement as you gain experience and use those techniques into your future fishing spots also if you want some other tutorials you just check out the channel i'll put the link up in the top here check out my youtube channel i've got a couple of other tutorials there and if you're in for a laugh i've also got grizzly responds to silly and stupid negative steam reviews for fishing planet that video seems to be getting a little bit of success so, so go and check that out if you want a nice little laugh 
I'm starting to get some hate mail from it though. I'm getting some messages in my inbox that are a little bit hateful. And if you haven't done anything in your life that warrants getting hate mail, I highly suggest you try it once because that shit is hilarious. And I say the more the merrier because unknown to them, they're enlisting themselves into Grizzly responds to mean fuckers or something like that. I haven't decided. So if you guys have any more ideas for tutorials or any questions or anything like that, leave it in the comments or better yet, leave it on my new Facebook page. I put all new videos and news and everything like that on the Facebook page. So go ahead, head over there and like that shit. Don't worry, I'm not going to be sending you Candy Crush invites or anything like that. I also don't put up douchebag statuses like taking a deeper look at the friends in my life, cleaning out my friends list. If you're reading this, congratulations, you've made the cut. Fuck you! I'm the one deleting you! Bloop. So I hope this little video helped you, and I hope it helps you gain some confidence in advancing to level 3 and being able to get out and catch some fish with your big boy pants on. I thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time, and have a good fucking day.